Malware is a um, malware. What malware. <laughs> so, so a malware basically is an application that tries to gain access to your laptop, your digital lifestyle. Can be uh, downloaded onto your phone. Can be downloaded to your laptop. And um, if you don't have that kind of protection in your phone or your laptop, you will be compromised. Somebody can gain access to your phone and do whatever they want to do or even take over. I'm going to demonstrate to you how okay. a laptop can be hacked right now. But the site I've just shown you right now, ESET, ESET, I'm also a brand ambassador of ESET. Okay. But I'm not just marketing them. It's the okay. fact that it works. They have a mobile application um, solution that you can actually install on your phone to, be able to, to make sure that you are getting protected. So there's a Kenyan version where you can buy online, shop.esa.co.ke, okay. where you can actually buy from there. But let's just do a little bit of an experiment. You are the victim who are having this laptop. Uh, let me, you need my face to log into this. Ah, OK. My face? Uh... No, 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 your face <laughs> won't work. <laughs> so um, you have this laptop. You want to assume that um, you're basically just working. Now, there are various ways that I can, I can log in, I can hack into this laptop. If I have physical access, you have used a wireless mouse, I can intercept the traffic between the mouse and the laptop and send you malware. Okay. If I give a cable, a charger cable that I have specialized for this, I could trigger anything on the laptop 50 or 100 meters away. But what if you're very far away? So being far away, I need to find a way to be able to make sure that you get to, um, to open anything I want. So, after collecting information about you, your lifestyle, okay. I, will, um, I will set up what you call a command and control. This is waiting okay. to actually control you. Okay? Okay. Now, if you see the Excel sheet on the desktop, as you can see, there's an Excel sheet here. Yes, yes, yes. So he's opening an Excel sheet which looks very normal. Could you please kindly just explain to me what you're seeing on the screen? Mm, name, question mark. And then? Uh, mm -hmm. Cleaner update. Click okay, to can we switch to my laptop? You want to see my screen right now. Ah. Look at yourself, just turn around. Okay. So as you're trying to read what is on the desktop, <laughs> I can actually watch you live. Mm -hmm. I can do anything. I can increase the volume on the laptop, play the music that I want. Yeah. Or better yet, let me do something for you. Hold up the laptop. Just, just raise it up to where everybody can see. They can shut down the laptop. <laughs> And you can do this to any laptop remotely. You don't, I don't have to be close to you. <laughs> because of opening just an Excel sheet. That's a simple malware that I've created. Okay. I'm sure everybody has heard about the whole ransomware that has been going around. Yes. So ransomware is basically a malware that comes to your laptop. And when you open that file, it encrypts or locks down your entire, file, or your, your entire laptop. And they ask you to pay a ransom of okay. about 30,000 Kenya shillings or more for you to be able to get the data back. Let me show you something very simple. If you look at the screen again, just for, for one Twitter account, yes. I can tell my digital lifestyle. Basically everything about me, from the, how many followers that I have, how many uh, tweets I tweet every day, the kind of links, even what time do I sleep, you can tell from the screen. And the websites people visit? Websites that I've visited, what kind of phone that I use, ah. how many times, it's right there. All, all the websites? All the websites. <laughs> well, yeah. So same thing if I give you any kind of link that you click on. Once you click on that link, I should be able to have access to your entire life. Uh, so the kind of website you've been going to browse, how often do you browse, what is the most common site you actually browse, even how long you stay on that website, I should be able to know. Even the people who browse incognito? Incognito, that doesn't matter. So you want to tell me incognito is Google PR? Uh, it's good for, it, it, it's incognito basically is to make sure that you don't let your data get into be out there. But if I send that link to you, I can okay. even force you to play music by force. Oh, really? Yes. But, but hey. <laughs> There's a possibility that the password on your phone is your date of birth reversed, the PIN. It's a very typical thing. It's how the brain works. Part of my PhD was actually about knowing how the brain works for internet security and awareness. Now, you need to make sure you have a password that is strong. Usually a strong password is password with spaces. So like a, like a phrase. Okay. For a typical example is, why do I always forget? Then you can add a number or a character. 
then okay. that's how you forget. That, then. That's how you forget. <laughs> <laughs> no, because if you use a normal password for your, your digital um, kind of activities, say uh, Kings 2014, there's a very high chance that, or if you make it too long or 16 characters, there's a very high chance you are going to write that on a piece of paper and place it somewhere. Okay. Now, getting close to you, get, I mean, or you type that on your desktop, or you some, put, some, put it somewhere that you want to store. That's why you need to make sure you stop writing passwords down on places. You can also use what you call a password manager. Password manager are programs that you can install on your browser to keep all your software, all your passwords in a vault. So that the hacker can have an easy time getting the password <laughs> stored in one place. No, no, no. Because we usually store them in Chrome, which is not all that safe, because hack hackers have found a way to be able to extract those passwords from the Chrome or Firefox or whatever it is. Okay. So you need a password manager. Now, there's one called the LastPass. That is one. And you can also get another from ESET, E-S-E-T. So you can get all of those from there and make, and make sure you use that for your digital lifestyle. However, your password is good enough, but your you need to have what you call a two-step verification. Yeah. Two-step verification means that every time you want to log into your phone, you get a code to your phone before you can log in. Yes. What if you lose your phone at night? You can't log into your phone. Okay. That's why you need what you call a backup code. So Google actually, for Gmail accounts, Google actually has that. We call it Google backup code. It looks like this. The 10 set of codes that look like this. These 10 sets of codes are unique to just you okay. and your account, of which you can only use one at a time. In case you ever lose your phone, you can easily log back in and be able to get to see activities on your phone and the likes okay. or trace it.